Hi, I'm Manel Contreras and I'm a curator and arts educator. In today's episode of Cultural Cash Online, I will be discussing the collaborative work entitled Obra by the late Filipino sculptor and my father, Ray Paz Contreras, with the Banglos Collective and the Ambacal Sculptors. This piece is part of the Cultural Center of the Philippines Visual Arts Collection. In order to fully understand this piece, it is important for us to delve into Repas Contreras' art and community-based practice. In the early 1980s, Papa, popularly known as Mang Ray, started as an artist who made wooden bowls and functional sculptures. He was a political activist during the martial law years and used to reside in an urban impoverished community in Tondo, Manila called the Ambacal, along the railroad tracks where he established a studio in Tayuman near Tutuban train station. As a struggling artist, he saw the hidden potential of the discarded trabiesa, the century-old hardwood, railroad ties as a medium, both as economic necessity and statement in opposition to the dominant Western influence art materials. My parents are both artists. Papa influenced my mother, poet Tala Isla, in the visual arts, and she became one of the first members of the Ambacal Sculptors Collective. Through the decades, Mang Ray mentored young men and women who serve as apprentices, often out of school youth, former OFWs of rural farm workers. Some of the trained apprentices also became part of the art collective. Papa was highly disciplined and a workaholic artist. He started his days early in the morning working at the studio. He was a constant figure along the railroad tracks carving and sanding wood or welding stainless steel surrounded by the curious youngsters from the neighborhood. When the Philippine National Railroad, or PNR, sold the Tutuban train station, his studio was dislocated and was later moved to our backyard in Abad Santos. Wherever he moved, the Ambacal sculptors relocated with him and joined him in his regional art training workshops, included those communities that were devastated by the Yolanda Typhoon and the indigenous groups of Agta in Bulacan and Palawan. In 1985, Papa had his first solo show in Gallery Blue at the Restance Department Store in Makati. One of his earliest series is Sacred Land, one of which was donated to the Cultural Center of the Philippines in 1990. It is a sculptural assemblage composed of five vertically positioned trabiesa, carved with the Anito-like figures as guardians and protectors inspired by the Northern Ipagao culture. This totem-like element with Anito figure is also prominently present in the work obra. This work is also reminiscent of his famous and award-winning public sculpture, The Trees, made from textured stainless steel erected in the Bonifacio Global City in 1998. His prolific art practice has created countless environmental forms of fish, horses, birds, and flora that still today graces his gallery at the Art Walk at the SM Mega Mall since 1992 called Contreras Sculptures. I joined Papa and Mama and the Ambacal Sculptors for a training workshop in Banglos, na Carquezon, on wood carving meant to provide livelihood in rebuilding the town which had been devastated by a super typhoon and landslide. Obro was a culmination of this workshop. Tatanan Ding Josep, then Vice President of the Cultural Center of the Philippines, invited Mang Ray to exhibit the works by the Banglos Collective in CCP. Obra is a homage to the land and the community. It is currently located on the upper basement near the Little Chatter of CCP. He conceptualized the idea and discussed it with me and Mama as we explored the subject matter and design elements. The publication followed after he enjoined the Ambacal Sculptors and Banglos Collective to take part in its construction. 
Papa always instilled in us that sculpture is a form of art that is collective endeavor. His art practice was community-based and he advanced art making as a social activity and responsibility. Throughout his artistic career, Papa used repurposed materials, found objects, and other media like textile, volcanic ash, stones found in riverbanks and seashores, as well as materials from indigenous communities. He transformed this found natural and man-made materials into distinctive artworks. Though Philippine hardwood was his favorite, he never used freshly cut lumber due to its negative impact on the environment. Central Old discarded Malabe, Nara, and Kamagong were his favorite media for wooden sculptures. Scarcity and rarity of hardwood challenged Papa to explore other art materials. He innovated the use of welding in texturizing repurposed stainless steel, and he popularized it by sharing his trade secrets to his community apprentices. Obra is a mixed-media assemblage, an interplay of hardwood, red nara, and mulave, with the signature Contreras' textured stainless steel. The wooden base has three legs, which represents stability and also the three elements, land, air, and water. The lower middle part is made from red nara wooden root with basin-like shape and carved fish that visualizes abundance of aquatic resources and water as one of the elements. Papa has repeatedly used fish motif as bringer of good fortune inspired by Asian beliefs. Furthermore, it is a homage to the local community of Banglos who were originally fisher folks prior to the destruction of the whole barangay due to flash floods. The upper middle part represents earth with sturdy vertical wooden posts carved with a human figure seated like bulol inspired by the northern Ipugao culture and manunggol jar excavated in Palawan. Man is represented here as steward of nature. Papa's human figures always appear peaceful yet on guard, his series of warriors and peasants as protectors of the sacred land. The topmost part of Obra assemblage features birds bird about to take flight symbolizing air and freedom. As a former political activist, Papa was always conscious of the issues of liberation and independence from colonial rule. The birds resting on top of the wooden posts also bring mind the stability of home and belongingness. Obra is very significant as a collaborative piece between the master sculptor and his successful community training apprentices who have become artists themselves as they employed art as agency. Thank you for joining me in this episode of Cultural Cash Online.